The U.S. Senate on Thursday unanimously passed a resolution promoting the peaceful transfer of power after an election, a clear shot across the bow aimed at President Trump over his refusal to commit to accepting such a transfer. For the president to even address the subject of maybe not knowing if he would accept or not is beyond all of our comprehension that that could ever happen in America, Manchin said in a speech introducing the resolution. To have the leader of the free world talk as if we're an autocracy, is something that alarmed me and alarmed a lot of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, as quiet as some maybe I know they're alarmed. While the resolution serves as a symbolic gesture, some commentators took note of the fact that it lacks any statutory power to prevent a situation in which Trump refuses to accept the result. This'll do it, quipped Washington Post White House reporter Sung Min Kim, whose Post colleague Dave Weigel added, cool, they fixed it, 65.3 million. That's how many absentee ballots have been mailed out or requested by voters so far in the 2020 election, according to the New York Times, meaning a substantial portion of votes deciding the election will be through mail-in voting. The state with the most mail-in ballot requests is Florida at 4.7 million, a 41% increase from 2016 which Trump has said is an exception to his unfounded claims that mail-in voting is widely fraudulent because of its great Republican governor.